In the past couple of days we've had ice storm after snowstorm, and it's accumulated quite a bit in the backyard. But that's supposed to clear up tonight and we should have some clear skies for the entire night, uh, even though it doesn't look like that right now. And because of all that snow, um, I'm not going to be setting up my rig where I usually do at the bottom of the stairs there. I really don't want to be going down these stairs and uh, dropping any equipment or falling on the stairs or into the pool. So because of that I am setting up on the other side of the pool. You can see there I have a, an ice patch cleared off um, where I'm going to be setting up the telescope and hopefully that ice is strong enough to keep the telescope level. We're not using those stairs behind us to bring everything out. Uh, instead we're going to be using the side gate here which leads to the driveway. I'm going to go back inside in the meantime and wait for these clouds to pass. It looks like they're starting to break up a bit. All right, so you can see the rig is set up. I did plan on shooting the Rosette Nebula tonight, uh, but I don't think I'll be able to do that because uh, we have an 80% illuminated moon that's gonna be coming up, and uh, it's gonna wash out any details and give me less contrast in my images. So I think I'm gonna be shooting a cluster again. I'm gonna try for M35, uh, and this is paired up with NGC 2158, and I should be able to get both those images, sorry, I should be able to get both of those clusters in frame. M35 is also known as the Shoebuckle Galaxy. I'm not sure if that includes the NGC 2158. I'll be trying exposures of 30 seconds to a minute uh, and I'll also be using the Beta Moon and Sky Glow filter to lessen the effects of the moon as well as the light pollution that I get here in Toronto. And yeah, right now I'm going to start uh, polar alignment and then I'm going to hook the camera up and start taking some shots. Hopefully it's a good night and hopefully you uh, tag along. Okay, so the clouds have passed and the rig is up. Uh, it's not too cold, it's only uh, about minus two or so. Uh, I'm shooting with the Celestron 6SD telescope tonight and the mount is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Imaging is going great tonight. I'm doing uh, 60 second exposures right now at an ISO of 400 and I'll continue doing that for another hour or two. Um, I only have M35 in view right now. I wasn't able to get uh, NGC 2158 in there as well. Um, but maybe I'll take separate shots of those and uh, stitch them together at the end. Okay, so I'm back inside. Um, maybe some minor issues. Some clouds have rolled over, and uh, so I took some time to take a look at the images that I've, I've taken already. And it looks like my 60 second exposures are giving me uh, slightly elongated stars, but, but I mean like very, very slightly. So I'm gonna see if I can still work with those. Um, but yeah, these clouds are expected to pass over, and uh, I should have clear skies for the rest of the night until about 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes or so and see if uh, I can get back out there. Depending on how long these clouds are gonna last, um, M35 might get out of view from my telescope, so I might be done shooting that object. Thankfully I did get a good amount of shots and uh, I'll match that with some darks and flats. But I might be changing objects, uh, maybe something a bit higher in the sky. 
I'm not too sure what yet. So I'm going to wait out these clouds and hopefully get some shots uh, later on. But it could be a mystery as to what I'm going to be showing at the end of this video. I could pull something together for M35, or I might be taking some shots of something else. But yeah, we'll wait and see. for this evening. Uh, it's too far uh, in the light polluted area down towards the horizon. So I might switch to another object. I'm looking at M3 as my next object. That could be promising. Um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. In the end, I wasn't able to capture another deep sky object that I was happy with. At around 3am I packed up the telescope and called it a night, and after some much needed sleep and a hearty breakfast, I began looking over the data I took of M35. It turns out only 30% of my images had elongated stars, so I processed the rest of my data in PixInsight and was able to turn it into this.